Hey guys, it's Astrid here with a very quick, very simple tutorial on how I make my flat shaded renders in Blender. I prefer this kind of style because it complements my models the best as they are anime inspired and of course I make my own shadows with my textures. I am using Blender 2.83 so anything above I don't really know about so I do apologize about that. So we are going to be working with nodes, I don't know everything about nodes. I only know this kind of node setup. I don't really mess around with nodes that often. I just model and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's go over to the shading tab. You can see here that my character is actually kind of reddish. That is because in my world tab here, the background color is this kind of raspberry color. Uh, that's because I use different colored backgrounds for when I do turntables. But you can see here that the background is a PNG, so it's transparent. That is so that I can make still renders and I can have a custom background that I always use. So that's just easier for me. Yours won't have a color unless you do set a color in here. So what you want to do is make sure that you are on the material tab and you have the model selected. My model is in a few separate parts. Yours might be combined, which if it is combined, you can see all of your materials in here, in this little box here. You can expand it if you want. Right now you can see that my shader is MMD Shader Dev. I'm going to be showing you how to do my node setup. So I'm going to start off with the jacket because it doesn't actually have a node setup right now. So we are first going to add, you can click shift A, I prefer doing it this way by clicking add and then searching. It's easier for me but do whatever is easier for you. And then we're going to search diffuse BSDF and you can just place it anywhere you want. Then we're going to go to add again and now we're going to find a shader to RGB. Set them up however you want. Connect this green dot to the shader green dot. And now we are going to add a color ramp. Now this is where the shade list comes from. So any dark values, that would be the shadows. Any light, that would be the light values. I'm just going to click this minus, so then it removes the black. That makes it so then it's completely flat, no shadows, and the light is just all one color. Now you want to connect the color, which is the yellow dot, to the FAC, or FAC, I don't really know what that is. <laughs> connect those two dots together. Now we are going to add a image texture. Again, put it wherever you want. And if you are like me, you can <laughs> try to organize things because nodes can get messy. And that is another reason why I don't like to mess with nodes very much. So I'm going to keep my image texture above here. I'm going to click this little image icon here with the little down arrow. You can click new or open if you want. But because all of my textures are already imported to my scene, I'm going to make sure that I click jacket. Next, we are going to add a mix RGB. And then we're going to connect the image texture color dot to color one. And then the color ramp to color two. Finally, we are going to do material output. And then you just click on the mix RGB color dot and put that into the surface. And as you can see here, it's turned white. What you want to do is in the mix RGB, you click the drop box and then you change it to multiply. And you can see here now in this preview that it is flat shaded. And I'll just do this for everything else. So the easiest way to copy and paste your node is over here in the material tab, go to this little down arrow, copy material, and then paste it onto the other material. Obviously that will add the texture that you have in the image texture box, but you can easily just switch it out for the correct texture. Now repeat this. And if you have any materials that are the same, you can just repeat the other step by copying and pasting. Now if we go into the layout tab and have it in to the viewport shading as render preview, you can see that she is now flat shaded. Yours might look a bit washed out, so what you want to do is go into the render properties, scroll all the way down, go to color management, and change the view transform to standard. Yours might automatically be filmic, but I always go for standard to make those colors pop. 
that is how you do your renders as flat shaded like mine is. So it obviously has the exact same kind of shading as uh, the actual uh, solid mode display. I hope this helped and I hope you guys make wonderful renders with your amazing models.